I'm Vic the Cruz, and you're watching Flea Market Coin Hunters. Welcome back to another episode of Flea Market Coin Hunters. We are going to go and to a coin expo today and see what we can find. Uh, it's supposed to be a big one. People from New York, um, all over is going to be there. Just let's see what we can find. The bank's closed and I went to the customer service on um, uh, Walmart. And uh, right off the back, I got a star note. Woo, that was right on the top. So I, I'm gonna have to go through the rest of the ones. But isn't that awesome? Right off the back. Yes, yes, so, uh, oh, look at that. That's a, oh my God, look at the number. Oh, wait till we show you. That is awesome. So these are the notes that I found. Um, look at that. That was the highlight right there. Uh, seven zero seven two three seven zero three two three uh, star note. <clears throat> Then I got a 21221011. Once again, that was awesome. Uh, 6333060. Once again, awesome. So we here at the coin show. Let's see what we can find. Good for the white. Yeah, yeah. How much is that? 20 bucks. 20? Phrase time hashtag chick monk mode. Look at that. Wow, that is gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Wow. Carson City. Oh, look at this. Wow. That is fantastic. Look at my baby that I just found. This is the stuff for auction over here. Wow. Look at that, guys. Stack of quarters, stack of walkers, stack of mercury, stack of barbers. Over here is a stack of Indians. Got another a stack of rosies. Wow. This is uh, up for auction today. <clears throat> I'm not going to be able to stick around for the auction, but... Oh, my goodness. What is that? Do you see that? Wow. That is incredible. Look at this. Wow. All graded. Well, those ain't graded. But, uh, and these ain't graded. But uh, they got some right there. There goes one graded. Uh, I guess maybe one or a few graded, but look at them anyways. Wow, they look good. A band of star notes. Wow. Look at that. Right there. So um, what do we got in front of us? What's this uh This is display? a history of currency from the time of ancient Egypt till about 100 years ago. Nice. It's made from blood, tea, Cardboard, bamboo, silver, paper, gold, silver, beads. Mm. Those are tree beads from Nigeria. Wow. All this was currency at one time. And then you said this one right here? That one's the smallest gold coin ever produced. Wow. Let's see if we can focus on that. Look at that. A week's pay right there, guys. Yep. Wow. Thank you very much, Mike. Thank you. Sir. Thank God you. Bless. Thank you. Oh, coins. Oh, 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 oh. Look at that, guys. Wow. 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 Oh, my Those are bills. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. I don't know if you guys can see that. I don't want to shadow it out, so I'm just going to try to zoom it in. Wow. Look at those Indian head scents. You guys see that? Wow. Look at the tone on those Morgans. Wow. Holy tone. 
I'm wondering if I can get the right angle to show you those tones. Wow. Tone, look at that. And adjust those back. Tax free New Hampshire, guys. Wow. This is fantastic. Alright, so we're back with our total haul of what we picked up. And what we got here is a promise to pay, which is a you know was a check or or what they used to fill out um it wasn't a check then but this is what they used to use to pay people and you would bring this to the bank and it was a promise that the bank would pay you but some banks wouldn't take these notes so um it was a very hard time then uh this was an 1855 isn't that pretty cool? And this is for that time. This was some rich person's uh, check right here. Seventy nine dollars, seventy two dollars and ninety one cents. So I also got this mm, gorgeous nineteen twenty six right here. Purple tone, um, gorgeous high MS. Maybe an MS sixty three. I think it says right there MS sixty three. Um, it's very gorgeous. I seen some doubling. Um, I'll put it under the scope when I have time. Probably on the live stream. Uh, this 19, um, 1959. I also seen some doubling on this. Wasn't sure what it was. I will take a look at it uh, closer later. So I got these books right here. Um, they're all empties, but uh, I picked them all up at a good price. As well as I got all these stamps uh, for free. Uh, I got it all thrown in with the package, so it was basically free. And um, I just would like to show you a couple of things here. Look at that. Look at that. So, um... And then other stamps, we got Abraham Lincoln, we got uh, Franklin Half Cent, we got some Red Cents, uh, George Washington Three Cents, we got some George Washington One Cents, um, so there's a whole bunch of different kinds in here, uh, look at that Two Cent Washington, um, there's another, um, there's a Fifteen Cent Washington, so I got all these from one vendor, uh, which was the books, the dollar bill, these two, and that one gorgeous 26, uh, and the stamps, so that was all one deal that I got, and then um, I picked about more than two dollars i got more than two dollars of wheat for two dollars yeah and what i ended up pulling out of that was some pretty decent dates so i ended up with two 1910s out of that out of this uh bag i pulled out two 1910s uh 1919s and a 1919 or is that a 1917 but there goes a 1919 so Thirty seven, thirty eight, and thirty nine and a thirty nine S. It was not that pretty, but it is a thirty nine S. Um, <clears throat> so as well as these these uh, decent looking ones as well, you know, um, they had some pretty nice uh, still cartwheel luster to it. So I figured I'd put those away. Um, I got these two. You know, this is a steal, but this one is interesting. I did look and I did not see. Let's see if we can see the VDB out of there. <clears throat> All right, so we got these two right here. We got a nineteen. 43 and then we got a 1913 see that guys now check this out You see what is going on here? So yeah. yeah, I'm not sure what's going on with that Whether it's um plated or maybe it's struck on a wrong planchet. Maybe it's actually silver. I don't know It doesn't look plated. Um actually doesn't even look that bad besides, you know, there are things and stuff on it, but... Alright, let's get to the next ones. Um, so yeah, we got those. Uh, I picked up two rolls of wheats from another vendor. I picked up, um, two rolls of memorials, 59 and 64. And the reason I bought them, they were actually dumped out into the box. And, um, they accidentally got dumped, the lady said. But I seen this gorgeous, you know, toned, um, 59. So... I said, yes, I will buy these. So I bought both rolls just because I seen that 59 in the pile of, of the spill pile. Um, so I bought these rolls. Now, the four red rolls are all 1964. These four other rolls are all 1972. And then we come down here and we have these awesome Justice Freedom, Freedom Justice Bicentennial rolls. So uh, we got two of those. I don't think I'm going to open those up at all. These two rolls I don't think I'm going to open up. But yes, uh, four 
uh, what was it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 unsearched wheat rolls. Uh, when I bought this, the gentleman had told me that it was unsearched. And I mean, I got some young dates. Uh, I got this, which was pretty interesting. And I actually, inside that same bag, this little toned, um, it's slightly toned. It is not in the greatest condition. But it's a 1923 Mercury. And I got this for free. It was in. And is that an S? I'm not sure what that is right there. I will take a look at it with a mi microscope. But, um, yes, that was in the bag. And I paid $2 for this bag. So that mercury dime and melt paid for just about half of that bag. So, um, I, I technically just about got this bag for a dollar, which, you know, was pretty awesome. Um, so, yes, uh, that is just about it for the pickup. Um, my friend also gave me, um, a couple of wheats. And what I pulled out of those wheats was a 37s, uh, a 1919, uh, King George 1940. And as well as a 1936, I'm not sure where it is, it got lost somewhere, but a 1936. So yes, that's, that, that's, uh, the total haul for today, um, was definitely a good, good haul. Thank you for watching Flea Market Coin Hunters. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment that secret phrase. Every episode has its own secret phrase. So don't forget to check out the other episodes so that way you can get your extra entry into our 1,000 subscriber giveaway. As well as Tuesdays, we hunt for errors while coin roll hunting. There's new episodes every week and every Friday we do live stream coin auctions and free giveaways. If you want to enter into the free giveaway, check out the description. There is a link to our giveaway page. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. God bless and happy hunting.